PP. Talk about the game. Um, like a lot of these, this is based on things I've seen people say on Facebook, observations I've seen people make, and questions I have heard other younger musicians ask. And someone said uh, that they were s trying to get DJs to play their stuff. They inboxed a DJ and said, you know, here's my new project with a view to getting them to listen to it. And uh, the DJ said, send me, a, send me a copy. And this younger artist had gone like, well, <laughs> buy it, man. It's like 50, it's like a fiver. Go and fucking, you know, go and support. And, uh, and there was a back and forth about it. Some people felt one way, some people agreed, some people disagreed. And uh, so I thought I'd just tell you how I feel about it. I thought it might be interesting. Uh, first of all, I think it's a matter very much of how you choose to manage your own career, and how you choose to manage your stuff. As always, what I'm giving you here, what I'm putting for is advice only. It's an individual perspective thing. And um, I think there's a right and wrong way of doing it. This is the, this is the conclusion that I've come to after, like absolutely every other lesson I've learned, doing it wrong for ages, <laughs> until it pisses me off, until eventually uh, I get so pissed off I learn how to do it right. So, should you give DJs free copies of your stuff, or should you ask them to, 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 to charge, ask them to pay? The question is, do you view the DJs who play your stuff as a part of your audience, or as part of your support structure? If they're playing your stuff because you think they should be part of your audience, then yes, your audience should pay whatever price you have set, be that their email for future uh, uh, communications and for ease of getting to them and sending them your music in the future, which is a valid price in and of itself in this day and age. Um, oftentimes when people say that their new song is free, what they really mean is it's, you know, cost you your email address which is you know a fair price um, if on the other hand you view them as part of your support structure which I do then the people who are on your team need to have all the tools they need to be on your team and one of those tools is access to good high quality copies of your music without having to go and fucking, where's my PayPal, and da 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 If they're on your team, <clears throat> if these people are loyally supporting your music, they're playing your music, they're bigging you up, they're not, you know, there's a difference between the people who run respectful shows that credit the artist, because they'll link you on Facebook and they'll put the credits, and they'll, they'll when they talk about it, they'll say what the project is, and people who are just you know, stealing any music and trying to upload it as, as their own thing. Um, and if and if the DJs are doing that and they're on your team and they're acting like they're on your team, then treat them like they're on your team. That's my personal opinion. Make your stuff available to them for free. Um, because I don't personally. It's not. It's not always been this way. I haven't always felt this way. But this is the conclusion I come. The conclusion I come to after looking at it for a while. Um, I think it goes, you know, artist at the root. Then you have your support structure above you, which is like the soil from which it grows. The bigger, the, the more broad your support structure is, the more is going to grow out of it, um, and that is crucial. To that is the DJs, the people who play your stuff, because if you can get like two or three people who are really, really like evangelical about your work and they're like you know you have to fucking hear Greg Blackman you haven't heard the new Greg Blackman so you have to go no listen no shit and every time they meet someone new they're like oh you, I've got this secret you don't know about which is Greg Blackman and they play my song and they're, they're impressed or whatever um, those people are three of those people are worth more to your career than you know all the advertising space you can buy well not all the advertising space you can buy but you get the point in what I'm trying to make they're very very valuable <clears throat> Um, so I think it goes artist, support structure, DJs, managers, uh, uh, publicists, assistants, whatever, and then audience. The audience is what grows from that. And I think if those people are part of your support structure, then you know give them all the tools 
that they need to support you. So, uh, yeah, I, where I come down on the side of this issue, and again, I respect that the other viewpoints are available and valid as always, but where I come down on the side of this issue, this issue is to say, yes, absolutely, make free copy, get, get a, a database of DJs, let them know they're on it, say, sir, I'm going to make my shit available to you on the regular, <laughs> sir or madam, my apologies, um, I'm going to make my stuff available to you for free on the regs. When I drop something new, I'll make sure I have it to you. And uh, I'm still learning to do this, not from not because I think it's uh, in any way not a good idea, but just because I'm on a day-to-day -day basis, my organisational skills are. Well, I'm to organisation what Mozart was to like thrash metal, so that's all you need to know. Um, but it is a good idea. You should have a database of those people, and if they support you, every time you drop something new, go, there's your free copy. Thank you for your support. And the next time you got something new, you drop it again. You know what I mean? Unless it's something you think it's completely genre inappropriate. Like if I have friends who run hip hop shows and I drop some sort of heavy metal thing, I'm not going to message them with it because they're not. It's not for them. I'm, I'm wasting their time, which is not a, a compliment. But uh, other than that, yeah, I try and make my stuff available to all of my support structure. Um, make your material available to them. Make you make your gratitude available to them. Um, and let them know how valuable they are because they're easy to gain and because they're, I, I apologize, they're very hard to gain. It takes a long time to gain and they're very easy to lose, very quick to lose. So, um, yes, you should give them your stuff for free. 